I'd like to tell you about the contemplative Marian pilgrimage that we are having in uh, October and to invite you to it. Some years ago, a Buddhist monk, friend of mine, American, came to stay in our community. And after a few weeks, I asked him what part of the day did he like most? And to my surprise, he said, when you sing that hymn to Mary at the end of the day, the Salve Regina. And I said, why? I'm surprised to hear you say that. And he said, well, we have a big lack of this feminine side of God or this, uh, this tenderness, really, uh, and, the, uh, and the maternity of God, which is symbolized, of course, in, in Mary. And I think uh, Mary is part of the Christian story, part of Christian theology, part of the gospel, and her place in Christian faith is, is, a, is an important and touching one. It touches us sometimes in parts of our being and our need for God uh, that often don't get fully realized. Maybe we're too masculine in the church. So um, there have been apparitions of Mary throughout uh, Christian history. I think the first was in 40 AD in the first century. And then in the 20th century alone, there were, I think nearly 400 apparitions around the world from the village in Rwanda to a rock cave in France. So I don't understand these, these apparitions and these places we're going to are places where a very strong experience of this dimension of Christian faith through, through Mary has been witnessed to. I don't understand it, but I'm open to it and I, I want to understand it better in a contemplative way. So if you'd like to join us for these, uh, these days of pilgrimage, um, I would be very happy to share this journey, both a physical journey, a pilgrimage, uh, and the friendship of fellow pilgrims is always an important part of a pilgrimage, and also to, to share the exploration of the meaning of Mary for our time. John Main said in his writing on Mary that for our time, she is above all a model and a teacher of contemplation. So it's in this spirit that we're holding this pilgrimage. We'll be starting in Lisbon and Fatima, Salamanca, Burgos, we'll be going to Lourdes. Then we'll be coming to Bonveau, uh, where we'll be having a three-day retreat here at Bonveau, and then going to Chartres, the great cathedral of Chartres, and uh, concluding in Paris. So the details are uh, on the link, and uh, I invite you to reflect on it, and if you can, to join us. Thank you.